Who is ready to party? Sick, sick. <laughs> This is where my mind should be. This is where my mind currently is. <laughs> You're terrified. Wow. Nothing happened. Wow, this is so anticlimactic. This is like every sexual experience I've ever had. Nothing happened. This is like every sexual experience I've ever had. <laughs> Sharp. Yeah. Woo! I don't even know if I did that right. That is like every sexual experience I've ever had. <laughs> Sorry, I love your sex tape. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. What is he talking about? Love you, Prata. Oh my god, look, you and Jake are doing the same thing right now. I have wheels now. <laughs> Wait, that don't appropriate my culture. Oh, don't cancel me. <laughs> Give me your best lie. The Red Keep has never fallen and it will not fall today. Alright, Cersei Lannister, calm down. You didn't know that was five minutes ago. Well, I know now because you told me. I'm on episode four, season one, so no spoilers, please. Sam, why don't you give them a rental? Oh. Vermin will be cleared before you arrive. <laughs> <in the room. laughs> um, we have. Uh, can I show them the amazing bathroom? Yeah, go show them the bathroom. Explain why it's good as well. So this bathroom is excellent. It's what? Accessible. Accessible. Thank you. A decent sized space. Because you can obviously wheel in here happily. Dad, why don't you cosplay as me in the chair? I think, is that not appropriation? That's. Get in the office chair and pretend to be me. <laughs> Excellent space for bathrooming because you can wheel in and you can spin around and you can come into the shower space, which is back here. And you can wheel over here. And is there anything else about the bathroom you want to say? There's two sinks in the bathroom. One for your big daddy, and then yeah, the we'll call that again. <laughs> and then the little one for uh, Bella. You know it's really hard to wheel your chair one-handed. Yeah, I know. I do it every day. The bathroom, humongous bed, obviously, and we've got a little kitchen space. A uh, sweet view. You can see the London Eye. This thing, and then look at the view. Oh my gosh! I really like watching the trains. I feel like um, girl on the train. Put your boy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's all silent, even. Hi guys, welcome. We're a little bit drunk. <laughs> we are in London. We are. I uh, will show you the view in a second. We are in London. It's my first time in London since my injury, so it's very exciting. Lots of first times. Did the train for the first time. It's gone pretty smoothly, I would it's say. It's been very fucking smooth, actually. I think, actually. The guys on Great Angular Rail were perfect, very good, although they did wheel me against my will. That was hilarious. <laughs> your face. He just grabbed your wheelchair and started wheeling, and you literally looked directly at me like, have the audacity. <laughs> I was like, Dan, if I kill a bitch, can I still make the event tonight? <laughs> Asking for a mate. Anyway, we are staying in Waterloo. Mm -hmm. We the plan is the plan of action is tonight we are going to the Cosmopolitan Influencer Awards Very because exciting. I have been shortlisted for Influencer of the Year for Health and Wellbeing. Not entirely sure why, but I mean, if she thank you if you nominated me. Yeah, please stop enabling her. <laughs> is go to the event tonight, have fun. Gonna come back here for a two man after party. We have bottles. We have. Rolls. Rolls. We are vegan Everything chicken. It's going down. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are just about to get ready. The event is in Victoria, so we're going to get an Uber because, you know, <laughs> see you later, uh, to Victoria. And then tomorrow, we are just going to have a chill day in London. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of London eye. It's going to be quite fun, Maybe yeah. just a little bit of South Bank chilling. I don't know, we're just going to see how it goes. The sun is coming in lovely right now. And I'm a healthy glow, you know. <laughs> I'm very drunk. Put the glass down. <laughs> we just do the Sainsbury's run because 
my hotel with an extra prep Monday and the we went to Sainsbury's and my head was literally just like Roman holiday, like Roman holiday meme. I was like, <laughs> trying, you know, when you go somewhere drunk and you're trying not to let people onto the fact that you're drunk. Yeah. This is just the office view. So I only booked, I only just requested the disabled room, but somehow the disabled room is a fucking studio. So London Eye, I think that's Water Waterloo Station. I think that might be Lambeth. Uh, that might be Lambeth North, actually. I might have lied. Um, either way, it's a station and we can watch the trains. <laughs> Put our eyelashes on and we're gonna, we'll take to the event. That's what we'll do. You're gonna come along with us. I hope that's okay. I'm assuming that's okay because you've clicked on the video, so. <laughs> Uh, what? What? Look! Look! Just Look at my neck! Look, look at my, my neck. neck! You know Beyonce is a massive Game of Thrones fan? Yeah. And she loves Khaleesi, like she loves her. I think she loves Game of Thrones. She loves it. The thought of Beyonce sitting down and watching TV. Imagine, like imagine Beyonce, like, imagine Beyonce eating beans on toast. I reckon she does. With butter pot sauce on it. Hot sauce, my toast bag. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we'll ever get the Formation One tour DVD? If you could have dinner with Beyonce, and you get to discuss three topics, what are you discussing? But it has to be. You're not filming because I'm literally in my pants. Yeah, I'm filming. You're joking me, Sophie. <laughs> Just always assume I'm filming. It's me. Obviously, it has to be Beyonce in this game that I'm meeting. I said if you're having Beyonce with dinner with Beyonce. Uh Hmm. And then I would really want to have like have a serious talk about like how she. Do you know what I would be like? Well, you know, in the pre hurts video where she's like. She's like, okay. That's an answer. <laughs> what would you? Basically, now we're done with your shitty answers. <laughs> Looks really good. I'm trying this way. Yeah, it's so good. I can teach you how to pose so that your butt looks the best if you want. I can teach oh, you. Oh, I know. You've already taught me. So you you stand like it's like. There is that one, but there's also a more subtle one, if you want to know. It's like, Gymshark sale dropping tomorrow. <laughs> I just get dressed. Please welcome 
Hairs for Trainer, podcaster, three-time best-selling author, and Women's Aid Ambassador. It's wonderful, Alice Living. Yes. Firstly, can I say how honoured I am to be invited to judge this year's category of health and well-being. Um, I found the last few years have been significant, have shown sorry, a significant shift in who influences social media consumers' decisions when it comes to health and well-being. We are more aware than ever of the damage that quick fix fads can have on our long-term health. And in 2019, there's been a much needed rise of things like the experts and a noticeable change in individuals becoming more educated about implementing long-term sustainable wellness practices into their lives. In addition to this, the desire for diversified and inclusive content is, is booming, and rightly so. Wellbeing no longer look, has a look and no longer feels as though it belongs solely in a gym or a green juice. Subject matter has diversified too, with nominees in this category covering topics such as body positivity, mental wellbeing and resilience, and myth busting. So, without further ado, these are the women currently inspiring a generation to feel the best they possibly can. We have Lucy Mountain. Adrienne, OG, um, Herbert, sorry, I'm going to call you by AJ Dudu, Sophie Butler, and Jess Megan. Oh. Our runner up for this category was very, very difficult, but our runner up is Adrienne. Our very, very deserving winner is Sophie Butler. Who is chosen? Who was our chosen winner for her incredible documentation of her triumph over adversity? Her content is engaging, it's beautifully presented, and she shows true ingenuity in all she creates. Congratulations, Sophie! Woo! These people are bringing something unique and future shaping.
12 o'clock midnight. Tell them how you feel. How do I feel? Drunk as fuck. <laughs> I just remembered I've got vegan sausage rolls in my room. That's the piece of me that is. Oh, by the way, I've also just decided that I am Khaleesi. Because look what I can do with the fire. Only the unburnt could do that. With iron. Some cosmos to Cosmo. Some cosmos for Cosmo. To me. To you. Here's to being a bad bitch. Or a health and well-being influence. Or a health and well-being bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Who is ready to party? Sick, sick. <laughs> right, you get them vegan sausage rolls up, babe. It's time to have us a pie. Tomorrow. Oh no. Oh no, what happened in here? How did it go? Uh, hi. Oh, hey. What do I look like? <laughs> Welcome to my crib. I'd love to say that he was posing for the camera, but he's not. This is how he lays. Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay, waking up to this view was literally like the best thing in the entire world. London Eye is still there, in case you were wondering. Beauty. <sighs> um, <laughs> how are we going to get that bad boy home? The award, not the London Eye. <laughs> we didn't bring any, like... Things to carry it in. Shall I carry it home like a dickhead? <laughs> like literally, shall I just take it on the train with me? Please no. <laughs> it's happening, boo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so because I thought I deserved it because of the award and everything last night, I bought myself a boat. So this is my new cruise ship. It's in my favourite seat in the world, London, downtown New York. Um, and we're about to take some we also kind of got engaged i kind it's, of popped the question it's two crowns because the king and the queen have finally sealed the deal she said yes oh <laughs> we're like weaving it but you've got to wait you know you're gonna get your five years good luck Well, also do that many ring. Secondly, because I really want a uh, vegan chicken roll, but uh, so I have the ingredients, but I don't have the cutlery. So I'm taking in this first class round of this train, then doing a roll. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new Hello, hi. Good afternoon, human beings. I'm just basically here to say that I forgot to film an outro and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that on your way out you're going to press the like and subscribe button. But I wanted to say thank you because without your support I would not have been able to get this award. I want to thank everyone who nominated me. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be next week. I won't make you wait like another month, maybe. I can't remember. Okay, I'm going to go now. Okay, bye. That wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs>